Hi, my name is Caleb Leo and I want to specially welcome you to the month of September. It's my best month. Yeah, I was born 1st September and in this month I will be discussing beauty relationship across Caleb Leo TV. So do want to tune into Caleb Leo TV on Fridays and then on Sundays and very important for Canelo Caleb Leo on the first Wednesday of um, next month of September by 6 p.m. and then Sundays 12 noon, Fridays 12 noon. I'm going to be having fantastic times and I'll be discussing building relationships. So don't miss any of the episodes so you can learn how best to build a relationship. Thank you. As a man think that in his heart, so he is. Welcome to Caleb Leo TV. My name is Caleb Leo. The future we seek is forged by the things we see and the things we hear. At Caleb Leo TV, we are creating transforming contents that will help you to understand, develop, and renew your mind. Caleb Leo TV, beyond imagination. See you in the future. Welcome to The Awakening. My name is Caleb Leo. Throughout this month, we've been discussing building relationships. We, 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 we've done this on um, The Awakening, we've been on it. On um, Connect with Caleb Leo, we've been on it. And then on This Spring Life, we've also been on building relationships. Um, like I mentioned, this month is my best month, so I'm still expecting gifts from you out there. The month is ending and um, your gifts have not yet arrived so you can still send it go to colorblue.com to get information about me on social media at PST Color Blue. Um, the best gift you can give me right now is to subscribe to this channel on YouTube follow me on social media comment like and share every of our post on Color Blue TV and also at PST Color Blue. that's first gift then other gifts well they are welcome very much welcome well presently today Still on beauty relationships, we're going to be looking at surviving failed relationships. That's more like heartbreak. Now, when we refer, to, when we say heartbreak, we usually refer to relationships when it has to do with um, dating. That's what we usually would say heartbreak. But people are heartbroken even in mutual relationships, platonic relationships. People get heartbroken when they they help people in life who in turn forget them. People become heartbroken when they are so caught friends in court betray them. Just like Judas betrayed Jesus. People become heartbroken when those who they, who they trust, who they have put their trust on has failed them. So how do I survive a world that um, you can understand the heart of man? The, the Bible says, even Jesus said they can't trust man. For the Bible says the heart of man is desperately wicked. So he said, don't put your trust in man. Because man always fails. So how do I survive? How will I learn to trust again if people have broken my trust? I have trusted and they've broken it. They've eaten my money. They've done a whole lot to me. How do I survive? In my short existence here on earth, I've experienced a whole lot of disappointments and heartbreaks um, from friends, from family, and of course from foe. But in all these things, in every one of them, there have been building blocks of experience. I'm not perfect, but every day I learn to forgive, reconnect, give people benefits of the doubt, give people second chances, give people um, their own chance as well. And most importantly, I've learned to be wiser in my approach. And then I tend to, to try to treat everybody differently. Um, it's difficult really not to judge one person by another person's actions, but um, I, I tend to remind myself that A and B are not the same. A and B may have some similarities, but they're not the same. A may disappoint me, B may not. So let me give B the opportunity not to at least the opportunity to for them to show they can't disappoint and then um if b fails i know b has failed too so everybody should write their exam equally and pass or fail well this is a very challenging point to put yourself because um it's difficult to forgive it's difficult to let go mostly if those you trust the most have broken your heart it's super difficult but you need to learn this 
Even Stephen, when he was about to be stoned, he forgave his own people, those who were about to kill him. He said, Father, forgive them for they don't know what to do. Jesus did the same on the cross. He forgave. Even before he gave up the, the ghost. So who are you not to forgive people who some who have had eaten um, a few of your thousands? Who are you not to forgive um, that person who stole from you? Who are you not to forgive that friend who broke your heart, who disappointed you, who betrayed you? Who are you not to forgive the person I let go? If God will forgive you, then why won't you forgive the other person? You know, Jesus didn't just forgive, he forgave and he let go. So he, he said this prayer, Father, forgive us. As we forgive those who have trespassed against us. The Bible Jesus told a story about a man who owed um, his boss so much money and then he went to meet his, his boss, told him, pay out, throw him in prison. And he told his boss, I don't have money to pay, I can't pay, please forgive me. And his boss said, okay, I cancel your debt. And then the man goes out and finds a co-worker who owns him a, a little amount of money, way, way less. And he tells him, pay out, throw him in jail. And the man says, I don't have money, please forgive me. And he threw that man in jail. Bible records that um, when the boss heard this, he said, Ah, you are really a wicked, 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 wicked servant. You're really a wicked worker. If I will forgive you so much amount of money, why can't you forgive your co worker this little amount? So for that, the boss threw him in prison and said he should rot there in jail until he's able to pay every time he owns. Now, that is a typical example of what God has done for us. Jesus has brought forgiveness our way and he has forgiven us of everything we've done irrespective of what we have done he expects us to forgive people daily as well as they wrong us so he expects us to learn to forgive to let go it's difficult to forget but you can let go so how do you survive your relationship you start by letting go you start by forgiving and letting go you start by learning to trust them again. It's not easy, but you learn to give them benefit of the doubt. Uh, of course, you you they have to earn your trust over again. So you don't just throw your trust hundred percent to them. You you can throw your trust little by little. Trust them on little things again and let them build up. If they fail, start afresh again, step by step. Give people the process to grow through. Even if they fail a hundred times, forgive them a hundred times. This can be the most challenging thing to do. But it is worth doing it because God forgave you and God is interested in building a relationship with you no matter what you've done so my love for you should not depend on what you've done it should be unconditional it doesn't matter what you do I still love you that is what God wants us to say that's how he wants us to behave to love people regardless of what they do and then to give them the opportunity to grow again so if someone feels you a hundred times, forgive the person a hundred times, give the person opportunity a hundred times, let the person start from the scratch to win your trust a hundred times over and over and over again. If someone passes, increase the trust you put on people. So learn to trust little by little. Don't trust hundred percent at the time. They are not God. Only only God that you can put your whole trust on. And of course, um, anticipate that a few times people fail. So always give people the opportunity, that open window, that when they fail, you will be able to get back. So don't put your whole hope on man. Because when you do, and it comes crashing, it's just like putting your hope on um, on uh, a business that doesn't have a base. Or like um, people that put their hope on MMM and other of such businesses. And they failed and their hope came crashing down like like um, an explosion just happened and everything went down don't be such don't be such let your trust be on god not on man and he indeed will direct your path now next week we're going to be starting a whole new topic next month in the month of october but in the meantime do what to follow me on social media at ps the color blue and on color blue tv so see you next week friday by 12 noon and get ready for connect with color blue coming your way first wednesday of next month